In Southwest Washington, it is not what families expect to deal with in mid-October. Yeah, dry grass fueling a wildfire burning on government land on Larch Mountain. Roads are closed. There's concern that this fire is getting uncomfortably close to some homes. Jenny Young, live now, close to where that fire is burning. What are the latest conditions, Jenny? Well, Jeff Liz, it does look a lot different out here today than it did yesterday. We're standing in the same spot where we were yesterday, and you could see in the distance that fire going. Neighbors were out here watching it. That is not the case today, and fire officials saying that it is 10% contained. As of this afternoon, evacuation notices haven't changed. The 911 center sent out level three go now evacuation notices yesterday. However, officials telling me today there were no homes within those level three areas. We're learning there are about 14 homes and businesses currently at level two be set and a little more than 200 homes currently at level one be ready. The folks who live below us can actually see the fire from their property. A Washington Department of Natural Resources Type 3 Incident Command Team showed up today. We're told they brought in 90 firefighters and have two helicopters providing air support. We're still, what we feel like is pretty far outside of the fire zone, but uh, the lesson of Eagle Creek is that if the winds come up, fire moves very quickly. Mm -hmm. That's Eric Peterson. He and his wife own an exotic sports car collection that's just a few miles outside the Go Now zone. They use the cars for charity, operating a nonprofit called Dream Drives for Kids, where they take children undergoing cancer treatment for joy rides. He tells me if they get a Go Now notice, he's not sure they can take the fleet. The problem we'll have if we have to evacuate is that trying to evacuate out, you know, a half dozen uh, exotic sports cars is probably going to be more difficult and more of a distraction. And we don't want to be a distraction to the folks trying to protect our houses and our neighborhoods. Um, so we're not 100% sure what to do at this point. We're really just hoping for the best. All right, so again, like you heard, that those evacuation notices have not changed, but we are keeping in close contact with that 911 center um, as they as they continue to evaluate this, as well as the Department of Natural Resources and um, the firefighters that are on this. And they do believe that this was human cause. That's because there was no lightning in the area. However, they're still investigating the exact cause. Uh, won't know that probably for some time. We will be, uh, again, uh, tracking this and keeping in close touch with those officials. Jeff Liz, we'll send it back to you. Live in Southwest Washington, Jenny Young, Point Six News. All right.